This is the answer key for a naming compounds worksheet. On this worksheet, we have binary ionic compounds and binary covalent compounds. Binary means two, so two atom compounds. Ionic are going to be metals stuck to nonmetals. That's how we know it's ionic. That's part one. Part two is a nonmetal stuck to a nonmetal, making that covalent. So on this top sheet, all of the first atoms are metals. Um, that means F of the first atom, we have a anion. And we're just going to name the first atom its full name. The second atom gets an IDE style name, an anion style name. If you don't know what these names are, look them up on your periodic table. Uh, the back of the resource or on the front of it. I have these memorized, so I can just name each part. CA is called calcium. CL is called chloride. Notice for ionic, we don't care about the subscript. BA is barium. I is iodide. Don't care about that subscript. MG is magnesium. Full first name. Do not change the name of the first atom on any compound. O is going to be oxide. Oxygen, oxide. CS is cesium. Now that's the one that we don't use often, but you can look up that symbol. Again, we don't care about the subscript. Look up that symbol on the front of your periodic. And CS is for a name cesium. Since we don't change the name, just write it down. S for sulfide, sulfur to sulfide. CA is calcium. BR is bromide. Bromide. Bromine to bromide. AG is silver, full first name, don't change those first names. CL is chloride. It's important to make these last three letters very clear. Those are part of what make names accurate or inaccurate. On the right hand side, we have sodium, NA, don't care about that, subscript. Sodium, and then S is sulfide. Li is lithium. We do not care about that subscript. O is oxide. And so we name the cation on the left hand side. We name the anion on the right hand side. Strontium, fluoride. On your resource, cations are on the left, anions on the right, just like on the names and on the formulas. K is potassium. You can look at that on the front of your periodic table. Can I answer on the left hand side, just like they are in the formula? Cl is chloride. Left hand side of the formula are metals, just like on the periodic table. Aluminum, full first name, I is iodide. Mg is magnesium. F is fluoride. So that's the top half. Those are all metals stuck to nonmetals. The bottom half is nonmetals stuck to nonmetals. If you're unsure of what we're saying by metals stuck to metals, or excuse me, metals stuck to nonmetals and nonmetals stuck to nonmetals, on your periodic table we have a stair stepped line. On the left hand side are metals, on the right hand side are nonmetals. Here we care about prefixes, and there is Prefix for a subscript of two or more on the first atom. So first atom, always prefix on the second atom. These prefixes you do need to know. Uh, mono, di, tri, tetra, penta, um, hexa, hepta, octa, nana, Deca. So full first name, just like we did for ionic, nitrogen, but now we do care about that subscript, dioxide. So for half the names on the sheet, we did not care about the subscript. The other half we do. AS is arsenic, full first name still. Now no prefix because it's a subscript one. Try for three, I, O, die. Here's a case where we double up the I. C is carbon. 
disulfide. This is the first formula that has a subscript on the first atom. The subscript will be for di. P is phosphorus. Diphosphorus. 5 is penta. So penta. Uh, we're going to drop the A and just write down oxide. If you have an A followed by an O, A coming from the prefix, we often drop that. C is carbon. No prefix, so because of subscript 1. Uh, subscript 2 means di. Oxide. S is just going to be sulfur, no prefix, full first name. Six was hexa fluoride. On the right hand side, we have sulfur. Three is tri oxide. Phosphorus is di. And that's from the subscript 2. The 3 is going to be for tri oxide. Di for the subscript 2. Full first name, nitrogen. Then we need a subscript no matter what on the second atom. So monoxide instead of mono. Oxide, just mon oxide. That mono means one. Even though it's not drawn, it's there. Full first name of the first atom, oxygen, prefix di for the subscript to fluoride. P is phosphorus. Five. Subscript would be penta, oops, penta bromide. Then lastly, systematically, this would be two hydrogens, so di hydrogen, full first name, one copy of oxygen, so mono, but again, we're going to drop the double O, so just one mon oxide.